Welcome 3D students. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a character that looks something like this. As you can see he has a tail and some arms and some ears. He's modeled after a stuffed animal made from an old sock. And here's what it looks like when it's rendered. Now if I turn on edged faces and turn off these two modifiers here you can see basically how it was constructed. It's a pretty simple mesh and it's based on a spherified cube and I think we can get a lot of variation out of this basic form here of the body and the arms to get quite a variety of uh, characters and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So a couple of weeks ago I went to a street festival and one of the vendors had these uh, stuffed animals that she had made out of old socks and here's one and here's another one and here's another one and again and again and as you can see they're all basically the same form right as my character they just have slightly different uh, variations right here the eyes of this frog could be where the ears of my character is and this mouth here is simply an edge that we could extrude inward and we could extrude the arms uh, slightly higher some have tails some don't uh, this one is just the same form, it's just the top of the head is extruded out and the ears stick out the side. So we can get a lot of variation on this same form. This one has the ears sticking out the side and a couple little horns. Here's another one. I think he has two arms. Here's another one. So to do mine, what I did was I took a couple of pictures of one that I bought. This is one I bought from the side and the front so I'd have some idea of how to shape him. And then I shaped him based on those two pictures. Now I've bought um, five of these little animals so you, can, so you can use them for reference. But again, they're all basically the same form here where we have the large head and two legs coming down and our two arms coming out the side. They're just slightly different proportions. So let's get started on making this basic body form. So to get started, we're going to need a box. So let's just, in our perspective view, create a box. It doesn't matter what size it is at this point. And then let's go to the Modify tab, and we're going to make it a cube. I'm going to make mine 40 by 40 by 40. And then we're going to add a modifier called Spherify. And it doesn't appear to do too much. But what we need to do is add some edges. So let's go back to the box and turn on edged faces so we can see the edges. And we're going to add one, two, three. And you can see what that does. Let's go here and turn on show end results so we can see what it looks like. So we've got two, two, and two. Let's try three, three, and three. Now, if we look at this shape here, you can clearly see where a couple of arms might come out. You can see where this part might be the head. You can see where a couple of legs would come out right here. So we're starting to get somewhere. Now to shape this, we can use the scale tool. Do something like that. Do something like that. I'm starting to get a body shape. Maybe make it a little bit more like that. And this, of course, depends on the body and how it actually looks. Another thing we could do is we can add what's called an FFD modifier here to it. And this will allow us to go to the control points for this modifier and begin to use them to uh, shape this object. Now once we've got some sort of a basic shape here, actually I think I'm going to take all of these and pull them out a little bit more like that. So once we've got some sort of a basic shape here, we need to permanently apply these modifiers because we need to cut this thing in half and use symmetry. So let's right click and convert this to an editable poly. And now we're going to cut this in half so we can use symmetry to help us shape it. So let's grab this edge, and then we're going to hold down Control and double-click on the next edge in the ring. 
and we're going to right click and we're going to select connect and that should put one edge right down the middle and then let's select uh, polygon mode I'm going to switch to the front viewport by pushing F on our keyboard and we're going to select one half of the cube and delete it and then we're going to exit polygon mode and we're going to put symmetry on this and if it disappears you're going to click flip and if you have a problem like this where you know you see I have a gap here I'll show you how to fix that. I'm going to push P and go back to perspective view. Now one of the things I forgot to mention with doing this character is that it needs to be centered in the world. So make sure you're not in any sub-object mode and get your move tool and come down here to the XYZ coordinates and zero out X and Y. Now we can use this fact that it's centered here to help close this gap. Let's go back to Editable Poly, select a vertex, and we're going to grab this vertex and see how its exposition is not zero. We're going to click that and make sure it's zero. And we're going to do the same for all the ones that had a gap. And when we turn symmetry back on, you'll see the gap has disappeared. Still have a gap here. And there we go, no more gap. So we're now ready to start uh, shaping our creature in more earnest here. So when we come back, we'll begin to do that. We'll extrude the legs, and I'll see you then.